Okay, guys, today we're looking at some cartoon portraiture. It should be a lot more fun today, guys. Thanks for coming on. Um, we're going to do something like this. Now, this is a colour one. Now, I've used what we call um, colour charcoals on these, right, which is like a pastel. They look like that. We get them at school. I don't know if you've got any at home, though, is all. Um, that's what they look like. But we today we're just going to use black and white so they can get the... Get used to the drawing side, but so that's just a zany, crazy little fun little um, exercise drawing cartoons. Um, some people have become very famous by drawing cartoons. The Simpsons, for example, they're not fantastically drawn animes like you know, like the Japanese stuff, but still, it's still a really good, colorful image. So, we're going to talk about how we're going to make our own images up, similar to this one. I've got a few here that I've done. Okay, I'll show you a couple more. Um, this one I did the other day. It's a fun one too. Very simple and easy to do and, and very easy to do. So we'll start the day with just pencil today. Also, here's another one I did a little while back. And I love that one as well. That's fun. Right? We've also got a little guy with a sombrero under a cactus. That looks like a fun one. Okay, that's one we could probably do as well. So we'll probably do that one a little bit later on as well. Now, they don't have to look exactly like mine. The whole idea is, we might start with this one, drawing something similar to this, and if you think, oh, it doesn't look like Mr. O'Reilly's, it doesn't mean it's not right, because cartoons can be anyone, anything you want them to be. Okay, there is no wrong drawn cartoon, all right, guys? So have more confidence in yourself. And have fun with it, guys. Here we go. So let's have a look here, set you up with my trusty little rig here. So it's really quite simple to get started, guys. Like I said, we're going to probably go off this model here. And what we're going to do, we're going to just start, I always like to start with the nose. So if you draw just a little line like that, now not use a soft pencil if you can. Please ask mum and dad to try and, try and get an office work sometime this week and get you guys some soft pencils and possibly a little piece of charcoal. Now that's charcoal, you can buy them in sticks, I can buy a whole packet. It's really soft, really, really soft, it's softer than soft pencils. That's really important for you guys, all right? So here we go, guys. We're going to have a go at this. So we're going to draw the nose first, like so. I hope I don't get in the way of the camera here. So draw the nose. And then we're going to just see how I'm going to curl that over like that. So it's like that. So I'll wait for you to catch up. Now, when you're doing this, I just want you guys to remember what we said yesterday about you can't have too many lines, okay? You can do as many lines as you like, all right? Um, you can see how many lines I've drawn just to get that shape because you'll wipe it all out later on, all right? So then we've got a little curve that way, very simple, nose, all right? Now, now that I've done that, I like to sort of do a little tiny bit there for the lip, okay? And then I do my mouth, I just swing it over there like that, okay? Look at how many lines that took. These lines I'm pretty good with, just a nice line underneath like so, okay? Then his chin, which will come out here like that. I've left there, I've kind of run out of room a bit here, that's why I'm going for a thicker chin. Right, so his chin, right? That's how I started, right? This will come over, of course, like this because we want to also be able to draw his neck. So, his neck like so, drawing his neck. You can see how it's coming together. Let me move over that way a bit so you can see all of that there. Okay, so what we've done, we've drawn, we've drawn the bottom of the jaw and we've drawn in his neck, guys, right? Like I said, there's no right spot. I could have done his neck over here or down here. It doesn't matter. It's cartoon. You could have a neck that skinny if he wants. See the skinny little neck? It doesn't matter, guys. There's no... Don't, just don't worry about saying, oh, I've got to get in the exact right spot. Don't let yourself get too concerned about those things. So what I do once I've done that, I then like to do the eye. So I like to sort of do the first eye, which I'll just do a circle over here like that. About that big. All right, that'll do it. Then I do another circle over here, which would probably be... Now, what, this is the one thing at the time I'll probably use a ruler. And I only use it here because I want to get the eyes looking right. I try to keep nice organic lines. So I see I ran a ruler right through the middle of the eye there. Because I want his other eye to be in a similar position. It doesn't have to be perfect again, like I said. On the other side like so. Alright? There we go. And then, so remember we're trying to look like this guy. We're getting as close as we can to it. He's looking alright so far. Right? Now what I do then is you notice here... On the drawing here that we have, how there's a little eyebrow kind of coming down over there. 
and his hair is covering that side, all right? So what we do here is we draw the eyebrow over here, just a quick drawing like that. Okay, that's all you need. And maybe another, I would normally put another line there like that. Let's get that one there. And then, of course, you've got to do the pupil, okay? See how the pupil is coming down a little bit below that line that I drew in there? Remember that line I drew in there? Just so you can see that better. I'm using a very soft pencil, guys, okay? And I put a little tiny white dot up there, right? Everyone get that all right? All right, now, we're going to do the same thing over here. I've run out of room, so we're going to run out of hair. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just do a bit of it like that for his hair for now. And then I'm just going to swirl his hair over there like that. See that? Just little swirls. Swirl it over. Flick it up on the end if you like. See, I'm flicking it up on the end there. Okay? We're doing the same sort of thing we did over there with the eye. And once again, this eye is going to come down here like so. Okay? That eye is going to go there, roughly. Remember how handy your trusty little rubber comes in? I've probably got a bit too many lines here. It's looking a bit messy. So I'm going to try and fix that because I've stuffed up there. All right, so let's get that line, that, that other pupil drawn in there like so. Maybe a little dot up there like that. So that's nice. Got a little dot. Okay, you can see that his hair. Now he's probably going to need a little bit of stuff coming around the side here. You can either go like that or you can go right across. It's up to yourself. Just that side of his eye. Okay, once we've got that we're all right. Now, we're almost there, guys. All we've got is the ear, which, if you notice on the drawing here, I like to start the top of the ear just past the pupil of the eye. Top of the ear just level with the pupil of the eye. So I'm going to put a ruler on there. be roughly around about the same spot there. Anywhere there in the eye. Of course, her eye is running at that angle. So something like that. All right, so let's, let's get that happening. Let's get his ear happening over here. So I'm swinging in like that. And come down. Going to come down a bit further. Nice big ear. You want a nice big ear. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you run into that. Right? does not matter if you run into that because you can rub that out. Right? Swing it right over. Swing it down like that. Swing it in. Okay? Get a nice looking image there. Same with the outside of the ear. Just be nice and free. Nice and free. Free lines. Draw it in there like that. Okay? Section in here that's got to be all blacked out here. Like so. There's another little section running down here like that, okay? Now you've got your ear, okay? Nice big ear there. Everything can be over-exaggerated too, guys. That's what's wonderful about this kind of drawing. So let's just finish off his hair over here. His hair, of course, is going to go outside the frame. So I like to draw out over the frame like so, as though I'm drawing. Make sure you're not wrecking mum's tablecloth. Make sure you've got something underneath yourself there, guys, to make sure you get there nice and neat. So there we go. So that hair is flicking out from around about there. You can do as much hair as you like. You can't make a mistake with the hair. You really can't. Okay? Just chuck, chuck, heaps of hair, heaps of hair in there. Okay, like so. Have it all coming out underneath there like that. Get lots of hair on there. Every now and then you might need to sharpen your pencil, which is what I have to do right now. Use a good sharpener. Okay? Nice sharp. Get a, never buy cheap sharpeners because they just break. Spend a few more dollars. I'll get mum to spend a few more dollars. Still a bit of... Get a bit of, do a bit of work around the house for a bit of pocket money. Get some good equipment, guys. So, now, you can see his hair, his hair here now. We're going to try and get something like that happening here now. So, that's going to be where our split in his hair is right there, we've decided. Let's take it back a little bit. And then we've got to get his hair going this way. So, I'm thinking stick with the split. Stick with the split. And get right over there like that, guys. Right over. Right on. Get it coming over his ear. Few, few stragglers out there. Just get a nice flick going on. You can do that for ages. I'm, I should probably do more with the hair, but of course, in the interest of saving time, I'm not going to go too crazy. Now, you notice I've got the sharp pencil now and I'm getting a thicker line. Have you noticed that? On the hair there. Have a look closer to the hair. You've got really dark strands and really light strands. It's a good idea to use a blunt pencil to, to do your underlay. And then when you sharpen it up, you get those nice sharp edges. See that? So you get like two tones. Use the same colour pencil. Okay, use the same um, um, grain of, grade of pencil. And there we go, guys. That's it, basically. Of course, we're going to fill it in now. So let's get, let's get that going like that. Okay. Do a little bit of shading next lesson. But this lesson is mainly the drawing we're thinking about. Don't lean too heavy on your, on your thing. You don't need to. You can probably colour these eyes in now if you want, guys, just to get a nice, nice thing going on here, all right? Just colour these eyes in. 
So you can get more of a look at what he's going to look like. The eyes are an important part. The eyes are what really pop out for you, all right? So like I said, I would use normally a softer. Get your eyebrow happening like so, nice and thick. Another eye size brow there, okay? You might have, he's got a couple of lines under there too, you know, so you might want to put in a few more if you like. Because it's a cut in, you can put in as many as you like. Here again, I'd like probably cut that back a bit. That, that was a bit big, that first one. So I'm cutting that back a little bit just for now. Dot. Colouring the eyes. Hope I'm not in the way there of the camera with my big head. So here we go. Colouring in those eyes like so. Yeah. Need your hair there. It needs more colouring in, of course. It needs to be darker. Darker again. It probably could go a little bit more out there, actually. It's a bit better. But um, if you find that your eyes, the centre of your eyes gone in too deep, just get your rubber. Rub it rub it out again. Or a bit of white out is really handy, guys, for getting the eye looking nice. Okay, a bit of white out is really handy. Let's just get that in there like that. Okay, excellent. All right, now let's finish him off. Get him nice and... Nice and soft, okay. Got this eye here. Okay, let's get this eye happening. Like so. We've lost the white in that eye, we'll have to fix that. Look, so you can see how many lines I'm doing there. Can't have too many lines, you really can't, right? Nose, get his nose happening. Put that better again. Spinning right around like that. Doesn't matter if you've got a bit extra, colour in that extra. Doesn't matter. Really does not matter. I'm rushing here now guys, so I'm not doing as great a job as I normally would. The trouble is with my video is I can't pause it. I've got to get a little program where I can pause my video. I'll pause my videos I'm working on so that I can be more professional. Okay, so here we go. Let's get that nose happening. Get a bit of meat on that nose. There we go, it's alright. Probably a little bit too thick there, but let's cover that up. Now, don't worry about rubbing lines out. You won't need to on this, guys. Right? Put a line in there. Another one here. Okay, guys. Teeth now. Teeth are, teeth are trendy. Teeth are trendy. They're really good fine teeth. Okay. Okay. Go like that. Two. Three. Make them nice and chunky. You know. And then, of course, you've got your tongue coming out of there, too. So let's get that done. So there. Finishing up now, really rushing it along now because you've really got to get a leg up. Okay. Now I like to put a bit of gums in there like that. You see like that. Make it look more realistic. Just dibble them down right on the edge there just to make it look like his teeth have got gums up under there. See that? Him doing that. And of course his tongue will come in there on there. Like so. Finish off the front of his tooth like that. And of course that all gets coloured in black too guys, all right? All that gets coloured in black. Okay. To finish off that section there. Okay. Now. Probably need a little thing there. Just to put a smiley face there. Colour all this in. I have to can't keep, keep staying out of the way of the camera. And see what I'm doing here. His tongue is red of course in the picture. Now you can colour him in later if you like. Or you can use him blending. Like I taught you before guys. All the blending techniques I showed you earlier. Well, so there we have him. You can see his ear needs to be a bit heavier, right? Obviously. So bring his ear in a bit heavier. You know, can get, you know thick and thin lines. Just can go mad with these soft pencils. They're fantastic. Right, like so. You know, get them really happening. A bit of blackness in there. Up underneath the ear. Okay. So that's what you get. Something like that, guys. All right. Now, like I was saying before about your shading. But underneath the neck, of course, very much so. Okay, better give it a bit of a rub. Remember we did this exercise yesterday with the shading? Rub in there like that. Maybe under the under the eyelids a bit. A bit of shading under there and wouldn't wouldn't hurt anybody. Put a bit under there. Just just soft with your pencil, then let your fingers do all the work. Alright? There's much more, there's mo a lot more we need to do with this, but I'm running out of time. So I can't I can't really do much more here. Probably do a little bit more shading on him tomorrow if you want. But all those extra lines in there, you can either rub them out. See, that big line's probably got to go because that's really obvious, right? That line's got to go. Okay, so that line's gone. Let's fill it in again. Cover it up like it was in there. 
Same down here, cover it up. Try and cover it up anyway. <coughs> there you go. So you can see the eyes. Now what I like to do once again, using my rubber guys to get some nice effects. So, like before, just running your rubber in around the white of the eye like so, see that? There you go, look at that. Look at that, see that? Gets that whiteness back in the, in the pupil, or the white of the eye. Look at that, see? Nice. Do the same with old mate over here. Okay. Like so. We're still having problems with this. Just a sec. I've got to really clean that area away because there's far too much darkness coming through there. That's a little bit better. Got to see that white from the eye. Really do. Okay. And there you go. Something like that, guys, anyway. Something like that. All right, that's what we're basically trying to draw. And that is this guy. If you can get some pastels, look, you can use coloring pencils. If you really want to make it look good, coloring pencils would be good. Textures I'm not a fan of, but if you want to go with textures, textures for his hair maybe. Maybe a black texture at the end when you've done all your coloring. So there we go, guys. Cheers.